Welcome to the After Show Show for episode 89. If this is your first time tuning in, this is not the main episode. This is the plastic surgery of the main episode, where we talk about random topics of interest. And this week, we're going to talk about two things. The first thing being that Josh is very sick right now. Quite sick. Uh, so if he's usually, if he's not like his usual chipper self, this is why. Yeah, um, pretty out of it. I'm, I'm like pretty drugged up right now. Yeah, he owned as drugs. Maybe like a certain somebody. Speaking of drugs. Yeah, speaking of drugs, um, this episode is going to be kind of a, a 21 retrospective. Yeah. Not um, to say 21's finished, but um, there's a lot of kind of controversy with 21 as of late. And we wanted to talk about it for a while now, but kind of got put on the back burner. And so we're going to finally talk about it on this after show show. Yeah, we want to... Talk about what we liked about 21, what we yeah. loved about 21, and, yeah. and maybe, you know, some of the bad things that have happened recently. Um, yeah. Now, to be fair, both of us are not, like, gigantic 21 no. fans. I wouldn't say we are Blackjacks, no. But we yeah. do, we have enjoyed uh, quite a few 21 songs in the past. I do yeah. Say. So if you, you know, maybe you found this and you're like, man, I really want to hear two dudes just fanboy the shit out of 21. No. It's probably not going to be it. It's going to be um, about half and half. Yeah, man, that 30, 70, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll, we'll see, um, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, so we might as well start with, the, of course, the big news, which we yep. sort of mentioned in our last after show, um, and that is that Minzy um, is officially leaving 21. Yeah. She did not renew her contract, which ends in May. Yeah. Um, we're, we were... On birthday. It was on... They did it to fuck you, man. I know. On your birthday. Um, like, now, fuck that Josh kid. Fuck that rando kid that... Makes this podcast that nobody listens to. <laughs> like, he's like, are, are you that reaction guy? No, no, okay. no one gives a shit. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Um, now, <laughs> lost my total train of thought of that. Um, so, so, so Minzy is leaving Twenty One, the group. Yeah. Um, we're not one hundred percent certain that she's going to leave YG, but she does want to kind of pursue other things. Right? Yes. And the 21 will continue as three. They are not going to look for a replacement, right? They're not going to car it. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not going to break up. Um, they are supposed to release something in May is yeah. what YG said. But of course, YG, very, very prone to delaying things. Yeah, so I'm expecting it uh, in November. Yeah. I, I uh, Part of me thinks he's really going to... F- I, I want to say fast track, but it's been on such a slow track. But he really needs to fast track that new girl group. Because yeah, he's been really. delaying that for so he needs, long. He needs to, like, finally, finally with that shit. Yeah. But he's got so many guy groups now. Like, he needs to, like, red velvet it, you know? Like, that's true. He needs he to red velvet, red velvet it. Yeah. And be like, surprise, there's another member coming later, too, because yeah. she wasn't ready. Um, but anyways, so we want to kind of talk about what 21 has meant to us or, or, mm-hmm. or something like that. Because both of us got into K-pop uh, around, around this time, time, right? Around, around the, the time 21. that 21, uh, like, started to gain momentum around the debut time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I wanted to share just... kind of my path to discovering 21 because yeah. many K-pop fans don't really know this, but it was really hard to find K-pop things five, six years ago. Yeah, um, it was. There wasn't YouTube. No. Um, and, you know, I... You'd have to like go to forums. You would have to like yeah. find it. It was kind of crazy complicated. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Yeah, imagine like Twitter now, but without YouTube. Like how people are, they would just like share videos from their own library. Yeah, yeah. except it'd be on a maybe a forum or like a message board, and it would be um, like 360p. Oh like. baby, that fo- <laughs> you'd be oh, so happy if you got an HD quality one. Um, but anyway, so like I was, as longtime viewers know, I my first group was the Wonder Girls. And then the Wonder Girls, I, somehow I discovered Big Bang because they had a performance, like a special stage performance uh, with, with Big Bang. One, yeah. yeah, Wonder Girls and Big Bang. Yeah, yeah. And then Big Bang, uh, 21's first song was Lollipop, which was with Big Bang. And so it was, kind which of was another special made thing. Made that connection. Yeah. Sure. So I went from Wonder Girls to, to Big Bang to 21 and I was like, uh, 21's first album, um, you know, I don't listen to many albums in general, yeah. but that first, uh, 21 album was like, or mini album was like pretty, my jam. Pretty good. It had like fire on it. Yeah, yeah fire. Yeah. I don't care. It had, it had like, yeah, that's a good song. I like all six of those songs. Like I listened to, yeah. I think it was six. I listened to all of them on repeat 
Um, and like 21, I was like, oh my God, I love this group so much in yeah. 2009. You see, like for me, it was totally different because I obviously I started out with uh, Sonia Shide, Girls Generation, and Twenty One and Girls Generation they have like pretty opposite sounds, mm-hmm. and so I like I heard Twenty One's music and I didn't really get into it until maybe about I want to say I'm the best. Mm. Like once I heard that song, like I was like, okay, uh, maybe maybe at that time like my music tastes were changing for K-pop, and I was like trying to find new music yeah but 21 was definitely really different compared to everyone else so it was kind of a an easy transition yeah and i'm more of a um like my favorite album of 21 is still their first um that mini, mini album, album. The like self-titled yeah one, right? it's got it's 20, got two like two ne1 two ne1 yeah actually they have two albums both called 21 two. it's kind of dumb and um, there's one that's that's two ne1 also yeah right yeah Although, you know, I admire them really trying to stick with that, right? They're um, really like... Whoever named those albums, I mean, come on, man. I do, yeah. you know, girl group names or K-pop group names in general are dumb. Yeah, but, like, I always dumb. really did like 21s. 21 is not not bad. Like, I really like that pun, yeah. right? Of two anyone, or yeah. it could be 21 and, and Blackjack. Fandom, yeah, and the fandom's name were Blackjack. Like, yeah. That, that was pretty clever, I have to say. I, I, do, I do dig that. Yeah. Uh, but, this, yeah, this first mini album with uh, Fire, I Don't Care, In the Club, Let's Go Party... Pretty boys stay together, and of course, the and of course, track lollipop. lollipop. I love, I love that song, man. <laughs> when we just right before uh, recording this, we watched like all their music just videos. to refresh our memories. Yeah, and some of those songs either we, we had never heard before, yeah, or we definitely need some refresher because we haven't heard it in a long time. Yeah, because there are like certain like parts of those songs like we could remember, like oh yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember mm-hmm. this part, but like most of the song we we could not. For the life of us, remember what sounded like. Yeah, and, and for me, like, 21 has always, or not has always, but in the last four years, 21 has been very disappointing to me personally. Um, I mean, their music has taken a really kind of, not strange route, but it's a really drastic kind of style, I think. Yeah, like, I think going through this, they have, like, three kind of eras of uh, of songs. Yeah. And, like, my favorite is the first era where it's still kind of breezy, fun, Kind, kind of, of really, really up tempo and fun. Yeah, say. yeah, yeah. Especially fire and I don't care. And then their second album, they like went hard on auto tune. They like yeah. tripled down they on auto tune. Like a really huge chunk where like everything was auto tune. The rap was auto tune. You know, the singing was auto tune. Like, yeah, like the intro CL was talking. To, like CL might auto-tuned. as well have just been a machine because she was just always auto tune. Yeah. And like mostly songs, I don't even remember um, yeah. because I I was like. Um, actually, this reminded me um, because I was really into K-pop, Wonder Girls kind of era. But then for a couple of years, I just I stopped. Um, and it was like I was really into K-pop in college. And then right after college finished um, and I started a real job, like I stopped kind of paying attention. You just attention. didn't have time for K-pop. Um, yeah. So like there was like a two – even for like Girls' Generation, there's like a two-year middle gap where I just didn't really – I don't really know, you know any of those songs. And so... Uh, Around this, like 2010-ish? Like, yeah, like, yeah, 2010, 2011. Yeah. Uh, I kind of really... And it wasn't until I started the podcast again with, with Kelvin originally that... That was my like, man, I want to get into K-pop again. Yeah. And that's when I started... When was that? 2013, maybe? End of 2012, 2013. Okay. When did we come here? 2014? 2013, around August time. Is when we came? Yeah. Then maybe, I, yeah, then I started it, I think, January 1st, 2013, 2013. I think mm-hmm. is when I started the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, so, like, these songs, like, I I don't even know these songs. Like, Try yeah. to Follow Me, Clap Your Hands, Go Away. Can't Nobody, I do know, because that shows up randomly sometimes, mm-hmm. and it hurts slow, which yeah. sounds kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, like, um, for me, I'm, I'm kind of the same. Like, I, I was aware of K-pop around that time like from you know 2007 ish mm-hmm. on uh, that was like when i was in college and when i was in college i was listening to a lot of different types of music and it wasn't until like after college that like i really like went head first mm-hmm. into like k-pop so but as you said you were on that girls generation train for, yeah, for quite a long time yeah. so i'm sure those songs that i just named is one of y'all's favorites maybe yeah but maybe you know at least for me i some of those songs, the first time I ever listened to those songs was... Um, like, minutes ago. Yeah, 10 minutes ago. Um, and then they kind of entered their, like, 
they're like faddish experimental yeah like i guess it's kind of like it's like when they're discovering that cl can rap like yeah. she doesn't need autotune and like the songs progressively get more and more clashy like frankenstein as we the, would the, say it's yeah, before it was really evident that like all of them were just kind of like doing the songs that were given to them. Mm -hmm. And then like as time goes on, it's like, okay, well, CL, the type of music that she's like promoting and like the type of music that like, Park Bohm like does is like really, really, really different. Yeah. And so they start like assigning, like I think it's really evident, especially when you go through all the videos yeah. that like... The last, like, five or six releases, um, it's very evident. It's like, CL, this is her going hard part. Yeah, this is the rap CL hard, really hard part of the yeah. song. Then there's the Dara... Kind of build up. She's build kind of up, sings, she's like, sing talking. Yeah. Not really singing. Minzy's in there sometimes a little bit. Yeah. And then the chorus is always... Like poppy Park Bowl yeah, singing. Poppy yeah. Park Bowl. And, you know, one of the biggest complaints I've had with 21 recently well i say recently but they haven't released a song in two fucking years uh but relatively recently it was yeah. always how frankenstein their, their their sounds were i remember getting so many dislikes uh or you know when we would react to 21 stuff yeah um because I, for me the 21 that i always wanted was that 2009 original 21 and then I took a break and I came back and they were like... A totally different... Nigga, chicha, like, and I was like, what the heck happened, 21? And then they pretty much took I'm the Best. And mm. then they have some like soul songs in between, but they like were doubling down on that kind of image. And yeah. that was really... Like, I know, like, what's your favorite 21 song of all time? I, I think my, my probably my favorite 21 song is I'm the Best. Mm. Just so the, I guess the reason why I would... I was like drawn to 21 songs was because of CL's rapping mm. and like the songs itself, like they just seemed really just kind of clubby and just a really up, like up tempo for me. Yeah. And like, that was okay. But like when the CL rap came on, I was like, yeah, I, I like this part. And so, so then like, oh, so like, uh, let me change it to top three then. Okay. Top three. Um, well, I like, uh, I'm the best. That's probably number one. Uh, and I, I do kind of like the older songs, like um, I Don't Care. It's pretty good. And the third one, ooh, that's that's a hard pick for me. But, hmm. yeah. but So it would not be anything within the last five years? No, probably not. Because I'm the Best is 2011, which at yeah. this point is five years ago. Um, so, like, I Love You, Fallen in Love, Do You Love Me, Missing You, Come Back Home? No. Those, no. I mean, those songs were, in my opinion, not bad. Yeah. Like, they weren't horrible songs, but they, they were just so, like, uh, experimental. Mm. And, like, it just really felt like they had no co cohesion to them. And, like, yeah, yeah I, just, I just really could not say that those songs are, like, my favorite. Yeah. I mean, my top three is literally, I don't care, Lollipop Pop Fire, Fire, right? The, the, that first album. First album, album yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I, re I do like... And this always fucks me because they ha they release three songs in a row with the word love in it. Oh, yeah. Um, I love you, fallen in love, love, do you love, love me? me? I think fallen in love is the one that I... That, that reggae sounding one. Okay, that's yeah. not the one then. I love you. I love you is the one that I like, which is like, a, it's like an electronic-y ballad. Right? I, like, love I love you. you. Yeah, some, yeah. That was really bad. But I think that's the one that in the last five years I like the most. Yeah. Like, I know Come Back Home is a very big song everybody in, in korea at least knows everybody in k-pop knows come back home but that song is still like frankenstein on frankenstein to me like yeah. we we talk about this all the time that how cl like carried the shit out, out of that album out of that crush yeah. album. we we actually have a special edition podcast where we uh review quote unquote or discuss the entire yeah. crush album and, like song by song yeah song by song and like over and over again, it was just CL's Karen Hart. Yeah. She got she's got fucking twenty one on her back. Yeah. Then she released her solo stuff, and we just it was just not good. We could not believe. It. Even watching it now, we just cannot believe she goes from like that CL rapping, you know, in like even in Memboon. Well, yeah, well Memboon and like uh, Baddest Female. I, mm. I like both of those songs. I, I don't like Baddest Female as much, but. I, I fully understand why people do like yeah. her, her rapping in that. Yeah. Um, and then that, like, translated into Dr. Pepper and, and 
Hello Bitches. And Hello Bitches. And it's, I, not... it's just so sad to me. It is so... Like, if there's anything looking at this, going back through this kind of shitty retrospective, is like, how sad it must have been to be a 21 fan. Because they effectively, they like, they disappeared, right? They disappeared for two yeah. years. Now, after two long years of waiting, it's like, well, Minzy is leaving. Yeah. Um, and even in those two long years, like, oh man, maybe CL will do some shit. And yeah. like, that fizzled really hard. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's really like, it really goes to show how big a footprint like 21 has in K pop. Yeah. Because like, a lot of like groups, especially around like when we started to really listen to K-pop, they were kind of just remanufactured, like repackaged groups of like old, mm. right? Like Finkel and all those groups, like you know, they that's you know, they, Girls Generation was the next kind of torch continuation kind of yeah. But Twenty One, I don't think they ever had someone to pass them the torch of this kind of like clubby hip hop. So there's no like, oh man, Twenty One sounds like. X, right? Because they, yeah. they always had exactly. their own. And sound. like, it, it must have sucked so much to be a 21 fan. They're just like, they're starting to gain momentum and then they kind of like have hiccups here and there, hiccups here and there, and then they completely disappear for a long time. Yeah. Like, and, and if you're not a 21 fan or you have no idea, maybe you're new to K pop, I mean, the main reason for that is because of Park Bomb. Yeah. She had uh, this kind of drug scandal thing mm -hmm. and pretty much. For two straight years. I think she actually... Because one of the people on Slack... Um, Justin... I think it's Justin, Justin Lane. Lane. He really likes Park Bomb. Uh -huh. uh, and so he he said like... Oh man, like... Uh, this is like Park Bomb's first tweet. Like her first public message in like mm -hmm. two years was just recently. Yeah. Um, and so pretty much for two straight years... She's had to like... She couldn't she, go anywhere. She yeah. couldn't do anything. She couldn't... I think... She never took a single picture. She only had like paparazzi take pictures of her. Yeah. Um, and that is one of the main reasons that Minzy ha left because while CL got to do her own things and try go solo, right? Yeah. Um, and, and Dara, of course, it's just Dara. It's Dara. She's been on a lot of shows. Yeah. She, she has, she has a, international a lot of fans. Appeal, yeah. Yeah. She's got a lot of international appeal. Minzy, like, whether we have no idea, it's all speculation. Like, we don't yeah. know why Minzy. Didn't do anything, whether that's because YG wouldn't let her, whether that's because she just wasn't good at it. We don't know. But she never got a solo opportunity. She never got her chance, she never basically. Got a, I say she never got a solo chance, opportunity. But we, don't know. Not, but we don't know. I'm not sure yeah. she's ever had a solo song. Has she? I don't think so. Because I know Park Mom has. We, we all know CL has. I don't think she has. Yeah. Like, for, for a really long time, like, there were rumors of her going solo. Yeah. And, like, people were really, like, anticipating it a lot. And... It never really panned out because YG rumors are always like YG rumors. Yeah. And like she must have like heard that and how people were calling for her to have a solo. And then who knows? Internal business that we don't, yeah, we don't know anything about. Totally sure. Um, but it, what we do know is that Minzy feels underrepresented, underrepresented inside 21. Yeah, as especially, a of 21. especially as she is a part of arguably the second biggest girl group in the last six years, right? Yeah. Girls' Generation, I think... I mean, maybe somebody can argue that Girls' Generation and 21 are closer on level, but I, I, I think Girls' Generation has a much wider uh, 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 mm. appeal, and so therefore they're number one. Mm. But, like, 21 is probably number two, for sure, right? It, I, In my opinion, they, were, they would be a close number two, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I don't think it's actually that close, but pa partially because of the Minzy thing, right? Mm. Like... Like, it's not YG's fault. I'm not blaming anybody, yeah. but, you know, Girl Generation has more members. They have yeah. more, they've done more things. They've been yeah. in dramas. They've been in this. They, they're they this, right? Yeah. Um, and Minzy kind of, even CL, like, aside from her rando solo things, she doesn't yeah. really do that much. She's just not in a lot of shows. Yeah. She's not in a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. But the Girl Generation members are in a lot of things. Yeah. Um, but that's a comparison I, I don't mean to make. I just want to say, like, being a part of the second biggest girl group in yeah. all Korea and Minzy kind of really didn't really most people get, probably don't yeah. even know her, right? Like if you're a fan in the last two, three, four years, do you even know who Minzy is? You know I, what I mean? I, I wouldn't go as far to say that, but like you might know who Twenty One is. Yeah, but if I were to like show a picture of Minzy, well, I I, I wouldn't go as far as oh, you wouldn't say that. No. I I 
I would say that she is well known because of 21, but she is not well known because of Minzy, if that makes any sense. Oh, no, no. I think that I, I'm trying to say that, but yeah. I'm going to uh, yeah, yeah. extreme. Yeah, like, for example, there are some groups that are just shot into like this kind of salience, this yeah. like awareness because of like one member appears on something and then all of a sudden they you know they're kind of doing well and all and then now everybody knows them yeah, they, uh, for they, example they got seven. Seven, Jackson yeah. right like Jackson really put them on the map and this is kind of like the opposite where 21 is like a really really big household name mm-hmm. and Minzy is kind of like known because she's part of 21 but Minzy herself I think she probably feels like okay I'm famous because of 21 but like I don't really have a chance to make a name for myself. Mm. Yeah, right? that's that, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, right? She, yeah. some girls do it by being dramas and being actress. Mm. Some girls do it because they're on variety shows, right? Yeah, yeah. Some girls do it because they're just so pretty. They're on every <laughs> advertisement in the world, yeah. right? Yeah, like I can um, understand that. Like as an artist, no. like it's it's great to have recognition as a group, right? But Twenty One is a group that's been around for a really, 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 really long time in K-pop standards, mm. and if she doesn't have like her own push because of that then it seems like a really wasted opportunity yeah yeah no i totally like i totally understand why she wouldn't resign yeah. right like I, it makes total sense to me that like a she's they've done nothing in two years mm-hmm. right they only had one performance at mama which we frequently mention is one of the worst performances we've Pretty ever seen bad. Uh, and we just watched it again. It's actually not as bad not as, as bad I think as we, we built remem- it up. As we remember, but it's still pretty, like, lackluster. Yeah, yeah. Energetic, less. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, CL, again, CL carries that so hard because she performs yeah. for six, seven minutes by herself. And then she performs at 21. She's still putting it in. Minzy actually does go yeah, hard. She does go hard. Looks like a totally different person, but she does go hard. Yeah. Um, but kind of Park Bomb and even Dara is just kind of like... They look really awkward and stiff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, I I think it totally makes sense. I just don't know what she's going to do. Because, again, I'm not a huge 21 fan. I'm mm. sure there's somebody out there that's a huge 21 fan and they know exactly what Minzy's capable of. But, like, her voice is kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, in the 21 songs. I've, I've always liked Minzy. Like, I think she can sing well. I think she dances well. I think she can rap here and there. And, like... She but just the thing is, like... I think she dances well, sings well, raps well in 2010 standards. Mm. Like, in 2016 standards, I don't think she does any of those things... Especially well. Average well, right? Yeah. Like, she's still better than me, but yeah. we, we watch Produce, we yeah. can see what I mean, some we, of those trainees are capable yeah, of. We talk though. about it all the time, about how the level of talent and the level of training has just been like going up and up and up. And like Minzy, she's she's great, but like compared to like the newer generation of like But I think there's also this weird like dichotomy, like she's no she's known to be the dancer, right? Mm-hmm. Um but her voice, I think her voice always shines on the slower songs, mm. right? Um, like most of the time they, they use her to her fullest are on these slower ballady kind of mm. songs. And that's so different than her, I'm right? So like if she goes solo, like what what is she going to come out with? Like I can't picture it, mm. right? Um, like I can picture what Park Bomb would come out with. A pop ballad, right? Yeah. I can picture her CL. Yeah. Uh, weird... American crunk, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know what Dara's would be. Just I don't think Dara would, would, I don't, I don't think Dara would poem. try to make music. Right. She uh, knows. She too. knows what she's capable of, yeah. right? Um, I just don't know what Minzy would I, be capable of. I think that's the problem. I think mm-hmm. that's the, that is the reason why Minzy wants to leave. Because nobody really knows what she's capable of. Yeah. So, I, would you rather her stay with YG and continue solo with YG? Or, or find another label that would treat her more as a priority? Well, I mean, it de- it depends what she wants, Want. right? Like, if for if if I was in her shoes, yeah. and I wanted to make music similar to Twenty One, but I wanted to do it in a solo manner, mm-hmm. I would stay with YG, obviously. But if I wanted to just kind of really showcase what I'm about, that it's a sound that's really different from YG, really different from Twenty One, then obviously she has to sign with a different group or a different company. Mm. I I want her to sign with a different company. I just don't know what. Again, I have no idea what to expect. Yeah. Like if you're like Minzy solo, I'm like, could be anything. 
Literally could be anything. It could be like some weird, like, uh, tiara solo kind of song, mm-hmm. right? Where it's like super sexy. Mm-hmm. Or it could be a ballad, right? I have no fucking idea what mm. Motor Solo would be. Yeah. I, I would assume that it would be something along more of the risque, sexier line. Like, she's going to go full guy in? Like, I don't know, oh, right? Yeah, like, who knows? It's true. Um, but, you know, 21 is going to come back with three, and I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where 21 is at nowadays, right? Yeah. Like, you take out Minzy, that triumvirate of three different styles is so apparent. Right, the yeah. toy, the CL hard rap, park bomb, pop co- chorus, and the Dara sing talking. Like Minzy was, I think, really the glue of Twenty One. Like she had a little bit of like kind of that rappiness that really kind of pulled the CL part, and mm. then she could sing, so you kind of pulled the park bomb right. And it's just kind of like now that she's gone, it's really apparent how different those three are. Yeah, like it's like her. I think her. Her image matches decently well with CL's on mm-hmm. hard image. Mm-hmm. And without that image, it's just going to be like 80% CL by herself kind of going hard. And then during, during the chorus, the other two girls kind of come in. are like, hey, we're here. Mm. But like, I really do think you need Minzy's kind of bridge, right? You yeah. need her dancing bridge ability or her singing bridge part ability, yeah. you know? like I don't know. You need her to kind of bring that song together. Which is strange to say because I don't think any of their last songs were together in any yeah, sense. Yeah, like but you, you kind of get what I mean. Still super Frankenstein y. Still super yeah. Frankenstein but Minzy, her job was to kind of meld those styles, I think. Mm. But, you know, we, we also kind of learned uh, the, the last week that, um, you know, one of the dudes from Beast is also leaving. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Hyunsung, which I didn't really, I don't know much about Beast in general. I didn't really know much about him, but. Mm. Looking at stuff, apparently nobody's like surprised at all because he hasn't been friendly with any of the members in Beast for mm-hmm. a very long time. Mm. Which is something like I, I I read something like they would all wish each other happy birthday except for hit like except for on his birthday or something. Oh, like wow. nobody would really wish petty. him happy birthday. I don't petty. think it was petty. I think like maybe for their birthday he didn't uh. wish them a happy birthday, and so they just weren't friends, right? Like mm. again, we we had this whole coworker talk um, in our main was it in our main podcast? I think so. Where we were just like, you know, I don't wish my coworkers happy birthday, like all of them, right? Mm -hmm. You know, just the ones I'm close to, you know? Yeah. Um, Although, you know, if there's a company party and they're bringing out some cake, you know, I'm going to eat that cake. I don't even clap and I'm singing, eating that cake. Actually, I lie. I don't even like cake. I don't like cake at all. Yeah. But I'm still there clapping. I'm like, whoa, Janet. Happy birthday, girl. Um, It's your day. It's your day. It's your day, girl. Yeah. um, But so, you know, the... This is just another kind of cog in the old machine Mm -hmm. falling away. You know, Kara is, although we did recently hear that Kara is not actually dead. Yeah, they're they're trying to, I don't know what's going on with Kara, but. But like they, they, three of them left that. So they're like, there are other examples of groups coming back together, even though all the individual members are in different companies. I think, um. I think Shinwa did Shinwa. before they made their own company and like yeah something like that I, I can't remember off the top of my head but so it's not I think God it, might have it, like older the older kind of the older companies. groups have kind of done something like this so it's really no surprise that mm-hmm. like K-pop groups go with this like JYJ and then like DBSK like they had their own issues and all that so yeah so maybe they're not actually dead but Kara fish up uh, pretty much dead right Wonder Girls are. A band, a now. band, right? Like my favorite group of all time. I don't even recognize sometimes, right? Um, and Girls Generation had a a relatively strong year last year. Relatively, like sure, we can say I'm that. Not, I, I think so. Like I think they that. dipped so low that they had an uptick. That's a relatively. We can good say year. that. Yeah, we can see that. At least you know they're together. I mean, Big Bang, they're gonna go to the military soon, right? Yeah. W- within the next year or two. Um, where at least some of them will have to, so they might come back afterwards. But that's going to be uh, if they stagger their military enlistment, that's it could be, be three, four years. That right? could be the end of Big Bang. Yeah, no, they're friends forever, guys. Yeah, but like Big Bang, has they'll a group. be together forever, big Bang has guys. A group. They're gonna big, they're gonna big, big bang, big banging in the army. I just picture GD in the army. I was like. He has, like, all so these, like, weird, weird yeah. things in his, like, uniform and stuff. I'm just trying to imagine him in a normal military outfit with, you know, like, I'm like, nah, GD has to be as fancy as he possibly can, right? 
Yeah. Um, He's got to wear his hat like at a certain, you know. Yeah. A little, a little, a little crooked. And, like his boots have to have like some sort of some, like, like a little star. Or, or, yeah. yeah. Some spike somewhere. Um, trying to think, what, who else is in the old guard that is pretty much. I mean, I guess that uh, mo- a lot of the other kind of oldish guards are still together, right? Like mm-hmm. shiny, is still shiny, and mm-hmm. those are kind of the second wave. But and FX, you know, I mean FX. Uh, oh, yeah, FX is still sort of FX. Yeah. Um, two PM is still two PM. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Miss A is still Miss A, I guess if they show up Sis- once Sistar? every year. Sistar, Sistar, still Sistaring. That's true. No, no, Sistar no issues. Um. I'm sure we're forgetting a lot of things, but uh, that, I think that's gonna be it for this really kind of really st- really sporadic. short, really yeah. sporadic kind of uh, um, after show show retrospective. You know, mm. Josh is sick, so I don't want to make him stay here too long. Um, if maybe you want to hear a, a more a longer, more detailed version of this, maybe we can do that. I don't know. Yeah, um, just let us know. Um, but the last thing I want to mention, which Fuck, I didn't prepare. What was the Patreon? Oh, yeah. I wanted to mention Patreon, and I wanted to thank some people. I didn't prepare their names. Fuck me right now. Oh, I totally forgot, too. Uh, You always forget. Well, I have a reason. I don't have a reason. I I was taking care of Josh. He's a horrible taking care of That's not true. That's not true at all. Um, So I'm going to get all the names. I'm going to get an extra special shout-out next After Show Show. Um... But this is, you know, what what is it? April twenty third. Mm. Um, I think the deadline to for me for Patreon is in about three weeks now. Yeah. Um, and of course we've mentioned so we were so happy and we're so like blown away by all the donations that people have been donating. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's I think it's about two hundred and sixteen dollars. I think at this moment. Mm-hmm. Um. So there's about three weeks to get another two hundred bucks. We're still we still hoping. Hope. We hope. Still hoping, but uh, even the other day we were at a meeting and they were like, "Who's staying another year?" And I was like, uh, uh. "I can't raise my hand now because um, we're not at four hundred dollars yet." But yeah. um, anyways, this is probably a, the least professional after show show we've ever done, um, and uh, hopefully you don't kill us. Bye. Welcome, my Chingus, to episode 89 of This Week in K-Pop. In this episode, we will talk about Chen, Hayes, Liu Jaehyun, CM Blue, IOI, JYP, LaBoom, Mamamoo, NCTU, Sam Kim, and TK. Bye. <laughs>